Fossil crude oil is still the lifeblood of our economy. The price we will have to pay in the future is getting higher and higher. It's time to find sustainable alternatives to reduce our impact on climate of transportation. There are various organic materials available in Europe and in the world. Often they are handled as wastes, such as sewage sludge, food waste or agricultural wastes. Here's an example of two types of miscanthus, which is an energy crop which grows extremely fast. I'll take this miscanthus back to the lab with us and show you how we can convert it into crude oil. We are developing a process where we can use a vast amount of different biomass resources. Here's the miscanthus from earlier, but we can also use things like wheat straw or algae such as spirulina, but even waste such as sewage sludge from the wastewater treatment plant. In nature, it took millions of years to convert these types of biomass materials into crude oil. We are developing a process where we can convert all these types of biomasses into renewable bio-crude oil by applying high heat and pressure, but it only takes 10 minutes. So this is where we now take our biomasses and mix them with water. So we can take any type of biomasses. Today we're using sewage sludge. So this is the main part of the reactor where our slurry is pumped in via the pump over here. After the heat exchanger, we move to the trim heater where we can increase the temperature to our final temperature, which is between 300 and 350 degrees. And then in this section up here, we have the reactor section, which is made up of these long pipes with six meters where we get our desired residence time. We can recover up to 80% of the heat. This means that we can run our system where we can actually produce five times more energy in our final bio crude than we have to invest for the heat and for the pumping energy. And then through here we get the biomass and oil coming out which is then separated by gravity. So the oil, the bio crude we've produced uh, is floating on the top and uh, water is at the bottom so we can simply separate the two fractions to recover our bio crude. This is the, uh, the bio crude that we get from, uh, from Aarhus. So in order to get from the bio crude to something which is a fuel, we have to run it through a catalytic hydrotreater. This is uh, already well known in refinery uh, operations, but when you do it on an HGL bio crude, you have to do it differently. This is our hydrotreater. The bio crude is, is stored here, and then basically we pump it up uh, to a given pressure, and then the mixture flows through here into our catalytic reactor. As the oil flows down through this catalytic bed, we change the properties from this bio crude intermediate to the upgraded crude oil that we can then turn into fuels. This is now the uh, version of the bio crude we turn into fuels. And we do that by distillation. So this is uh, the distillation column. Gradually, you increase the temperature down here in the bottom and you get these different uh, distillation cuts in the different uh, flasks. And we have uh, samples of this over here. You know, the, the lighter fuels here, something like gasoline uh, range. Middle distillates here with the kerosene or the jet fuel, the diesel. And then the heavier fuels here would be uh, something like heavy uh, fuels for marine use, etc. cetera. 